to the tarot cottage i'm back again today with another pick a card reading for you if you're finding yourself on my channel for the first time welcome we are a space of inclusivity i do daily pick a card readings here monday through friday um, i do messages for soulmates and separation as well on sundays um, so if you're into that please grab yourself a cup of tea and pull up a chair and let's have a chat we're all friends here at my table um, if you are a returning subscriber i love you so much thank you for being a part of this family thank you for being here to comment to watch the videos um, your support means so much to me and it helps me grow my channel so much so thank you so much for your friendship i really appreciate you today's pick a card is a requested video um, and it is who has me on their mind right now who has you on their mind right this second what are their thoughts about you we do have three piles to choose from today pile number one with the geraniums the pink geraniums and the gazelle spirit pile number two with the daisy and the camel spirit and pile number three with the purple flower and this frog spirit as always the timestamps will be listed below um, and I will take a moment here to say that if you're on Instagram this week I'm offering a giveaway for a free mini reading with me so if you're interested in winning that please head over to Instagram find that post and enter um, for your chance to win a reading okay I'm gonna go ahead and start with group number one as always your timestamps will be listed below today's topic again is who has me on their mind right this moment and what are their thoughts hello everybody in group one I hope you're doing well today you guys were drawn to the gazelle pile and these pink geraniums and this is your reading on who has you on their mind right this moment? Who's thinking about you? What are their secret thoughts? The gazelle is a very aware creature. They're always aware of their surroundings at every moment of the day. Even if they don't appear to be aware of what's going on around them, they are. Um, and what else is, strikes me about this creature is their grace, their beauty. Um, they look like a very gentle creature, but when an animal is in pursuit of them and they need to get away they still do it gracefully there's just something graceful and beautiful and delicate about this creature that could represent the energy of the person that has you on their mind that could also represent your energy you could just be a very kind-hearted sweet person who knows how to get out when the getting gets rough so that could resonate with you who has you on their mind right now who is thinking about you right this second Who is thinking about you right now, please, Spirit? The people for group one. Who has them on their mind? So we have the devil in the reverse. So this really speaks to me about some of those naughty thoughts that this person is having about you. Um, the devil is represented by Capricorn, so your person could be a Capricorn, perhaps. Um, they don't have to be, um, but there is um, a sense of entrapment with the devil card. And when I see it in the reverse, I do think about... Um, you know the sexual fantasies that they have about you so I do spend I feel like the thought some of the thoughts that this person has in their mind are you know starting at the reading heavy heavy sexual energy geared towards you I also feel like with that gazelle spirit looking at it I feel like they're aware of you I feel like they watch you they could watch your social media there's also a sense of recovery with that devil in the reverse you know feeling trapped by something but now maybe coming out of entrapment so it could be somebody just coming out of a relationship or it could represent you just coming out of a relationship and they're very much aware of that and they fantasize about being the person next to swoop in take what resonates leave what does not who is constantly thinking about you who has you on their mind right this moment The Nine of Cups. Oh, the Nine of Cups is like the wish come true card. You know, you are truly a, a wish come true, a dream come true for this person. Water energy is represented here. There's just a lot of loving, abundant energy. It's like a sense of satisfaction, like you would be a wish granted to this person. And again, I feel like they're spending a lot of time fantasizing about you. You are on their mind right now. The Page of Wands and the Sun. Oh, how beautiful. So we have, you know, this beautiful page of wands. The page is creative, 
fiery, you know, a lot of passion represented by the page. It's like that inspired birth of inspiration. It's like <laughs> when we think of the page, you know, I often think of sexual energy that um, this page wants to put somewhere. <laughs> so the page really is about new adventures, new inspired thought, wanting to create something new, something out of your passion. So again, and it represents this beautiful sun as well, is just showing the joy, the happiness that this potential relationship brings to this person. You really do represent happiness and joy to this person. Gratification, they really want that with you. Success. So they have rose-colored glasses when it comes to you. On the back of the deck, I just noticed the Hierophant. They could really desire marriage with you or a, a stable, traditional relationship. Who is thinking of you right now? Who has you on their mind right this moment? We have the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Swords. So that Knight of Cups... You know, not only, <clears throat> excuse me, you guys, I have a frog in my throat. Not only are you guys on their mind in a, <clears throat> sorry guys, I'm going to take a little sip of my tea. Not only are you guys on their mind in a sexual way, but they also dream about coming in with all the bells and whistles, being really charming, really romantic. You know, they want to take you out. Um, they could be very charismatic. Again, a lot of water energy here represented. They could have that in their chart. And this Ace of Swords just shows the mental clarity that they have right now concerning you. You know, underneath this Wishes Come True card, the Nine of Cups, you know, they're very clear about their feelings for you. They're not, there's no confusion with this person. They understand what you mean to them. And here on the back of the deck, I just noticed that Wheel of Fortune. So they may feel like you're a fated union, like this is meant to be, and they're waiting for a turn of events, or there could be a sudden turn of events that swings in their favor here. Who has you on their mind? Two of Cups could be a soulmate relationship. They definitely want a relationship with you with this Two of Cups. Lots of loving energy here. Romance, partnership. And, and they're trying to figure out a creative way to bring this idea forth, to express themselves with this Page of Wands, this Two of Cups. And the Knight of Wands is on the back of the deck. You know, passion, passion, passion from this person. Love and passion. Very clear about what they want. death okay so this is not a negative card look at this beautiful depiction of the death it's a phoenix rising from the ashes this death card next to the sun card really shows me they want a transition in this relationship this could be someone that you have already are friends with or know and they really want it to shift into something brand new with this death card um they could be tired about some sort of stagnation um but the death really again, speaks to me about transition and change. They want an ending to, to the hoping and the dreaming, and they want to move into a brand new relationship with you. They want a new beginning. Four of Pentacles on the back of the deck really kind of shows that possessiveness, the greediness when it comes to you. You know, you're kind of, you make them jealous. Like feelings of jealousy come out in them when they think about you because they have so much passion and so much sexual energy geared towards you and so much loving um, energy. They, I feel like they f truly feel like they're in love with you with this two of cups, like with this two of cups and that beautiful knight of cups and the night. I feel like they are uh, like, not only are you on their mind, but I feel like they think that they're in love with you. Um, and that makes them kind of jealous sometimes when it comes to you. A few clarifying cards here to see if spirit has anything else to say about this person who always has you on their mind, who's thinking about you right this moment as we speak. The Knight of Swords, they want to rush right in. They're ready to move. <laughs> the Knight of Swords wants to clear the air. He wants to rush in. Sometimes he doesn't have a solid plan to follow through on when he comes in, um, which is interesting because we see a lot of pages here, or sorry, we see pages here, we see knights here, but we don't see a king here. So this person could lack a little bit of confidence or they could be a younger person. Um, you know, someone in their early 20s who just could be an air sign, but they, they do want to just come rushing in. You know, they want to clear the air. They want you to be aware of these thoughts they're having. <laughs> they want you to know how they're feeling about you. It's definitely an action card. I would not be surprised if some of you heard from someone who was like, oh my gosh, the Knight of Pentacles. <laughs> All the Knights are showing up today for you. 
really shows this person's drive to move towards you. The Knight of Pentacles is a very steadfast energy. He sometimes doesn't um, perform as quickly as we'd like him to perform. There is a lot of patience required with the Knight of Pentacles. So again, I feel like your person has spent a lot of time pining away for you and having this opinion, like this really high opinion of you with that Nine of Cups, really wanting that wish come true and holding that feeling for you for quite a while, looking at this offer for you. And they kind of, I think, struggle from day to day between, you know, I gotta, I gotta express myself, but I should probably wait. I gotta express myself, but I don't know how they're gonna receive me. On the back of the deck, we have the Hermit card, Virgo energy. You know, it could represent how lonely they feel without you. Here fit card. The desire for a serious commitment can be represented by this card. They could be also working on themselves. As I said, they are, they seem to be a younger energy somebody who wants to build a foundation with you, but someone who doesn't necessarily feel like they have the confidence of a king. And that's why I think that maybe they could be someone in school um, or somebody in an apprenticeship of some kind who's working on themselves. A hero flint card could also represent their desire for that committed relationship, as I said earlier, as well. It can represent marriage. This person could really value the traditional sense of a relationship. Oh, this could be someone, a friendship. As I said, it could be someone you've been friends with from your past. The beautiful Six of Cups does represent, represent soulmate energy to me. We have the Two of Cups as well here. The Sun card, just such beautiful energy with this person. And they really, truly have rose-colored glasses. Sorry, you guys, my camera stopped working. <laughs> yeah, the Six of Cups just represents an innocent type of love, you know, the, the, an, a nostalgic type of romance, someone from your past that they just can't get you out of their mind. It's just a beautiful, that's one of my favorite cards in the entire deck. <clears throat> Loving energy. And here are the Nine of Cups again. You are a wish come true, a wish granted to this person. If they had you in their life, they would feel like a king. They would feel kind of smug about it. You know, just they finally got the, the ultimate prize, which is you. It's a, such a nice reading. This one is really, it's really making my day start out right, this reading is. <clears throat> This person that has you on their mind is a lovely energy. Children, your love life is being affected by children. Maybe you have children with the Six of Cups as well. Perhaps you have kids. Or it could just represent that you've known this person since you were children. I do sense there is history with this person. This is where you guys can't see it all. So I'll just... Hey, hello, we just lost them all. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. If I didn't drop at least one card, I guess it wouldn't be a reading. <clears throat> It feels like a really special love with this romance of a lifetime. It really does to me. This feels like a very sweet connection. So if you, if this is resonating with you, I'd love to hear about this connection in the comment section. This seems like a very kind of young, sweet trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Feels like you guys have also known each other before. I don't feel like this is a one-time deal. <clears throat> Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. And very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. This person, as I said, with all those knights, they are geared for action. They don't, I don't think they want to wait around anymore. <clears throat> you send me mixed signals. So this could be somebody in your friend group who... You know, so maybe there's a lot of flirting going on here. You've known them for a really long time, since you were kids. I'm coming. <laughs> They're tired of waiting. The distance between us is killing me. So maybe you guys live physically apart, or just the fact that not being able to be with you, oops, not being able to be with you is really bothering them. The separation is killing me. So somebody out there is, you know, apart from this person. And I have a lot left that I want to say or need to say to you. Love is patient. 
with that Knight of Pentacles, you know, sometimes these situations call us to have a lot of patience. I've never felt like this before. I'm in love with you. No one knows. Oh, that's just... <laughs> As I said, it doesn't just feel like a crushing situation. It feels like, you know, it feels like they truly are... I want a new beginning. We had that death card at the very end of that reading. And I dream of a second chance with you. So with that Six of Cups, sometimes I really feel like it's a romance that never quite got off the ground sometimes. Um, so this person... I feel like is really regretting maybe not making that move or shooting their shot in that way. I'll get some charms for you. We'll start it with some of these mini tarot. I'll pick two I can't see. One, two. And here's a chain, that devil coming out again. Okay, so let's start with our cards here. The Ten of Swords. So this has been, you know, something that has conflicted your person mentally for a while. Um, and they are ready for a new beginning, a new dawn. They kind of want to let go of any of the waiting or mental anguish this connection has caused them. Just, just the fact that they couldn't have been with you, I feel. You know, the Ten of Swords is really representative of not being able to take any more. <laughs> desiring closure, desiring finality. And I feel like your person does really desire that with you. They really do want an ending to the, to the disconnect. Um, but I'm in focused on that dawn of a new day. It really reminds me of the death card in that sense that there is hope for a new beginning. And that's what they're really hoping for. The king of pentacles, they like to see themselves as a secure option for you. That's what they want to represent to you is security. They want to look after you. You know, they just, they want to they want to be this foundation of which you guys build your whole life. They want that with you. We have D and R. They could be a doctor or on their way to being. W, N. Um, we have this good luck charm, four leaf clover for good luck. I found that on a walk once. Um, I have this little silver dollar from the Calgary Stampede. It says Pete Knight on it. So Pete could be a name that's even relevant to you. It is from 1982. It was given to me and it makes me feel about some, it makes, used to make me feel when I was a child that I had something really worthwhile. I had something worth a lot of money, even though it's not. Um, and I just feel like this is your person's feeling about you. You are precious to them. You truly are precious to them. We had that four of of coins on the back of the one deck speaking about you know their propensity to jealousy over you i just feel like they really value you they think you're they put you on that pedestal you could be a teacher they could be in school as i said with that hierophant working on themselves with this apple the desire for peace in their heart that only you can bring them this chain again it reminds me of the devil card feeling attached to you it does represent soulmate relationships and that bond that cannot be broken as well feeling tethered to a person inexplicably. Um, the feather always speaks to me about soulmates, but also the call to look at things from a higher perspective. And the shoe always speaks to me about someone moving towards you. So we had all those nights. I do feel like this person is chomping on the, at the bit to express themselves. And we have the rolling pin. So maybe you met them in food service or they really like to cook or bake. Okay, group one, that is your reading on who is thinking of you right this moment, who has you on their mind right now, what are some of their thoughts. Um, if this resonated with you, please leave me a comment in the comment section. I'd love to hear about this lovely connection. Uh, if you would like and are interested in, please head over to Instagram and enter for your chance to win a mini reading with me. Um, otherwise, I'm going to move on to the next group, and I do hope that you guys join me on another day at the Tarot Cottage. Bye, you guys. Hello, everybody in group two who chose the Daisy and the camel spirit and this is your reading on who has you on their mind right this moment what are some of their thoughts the camel spirit is really about constant change um, about the ability to weather storms as well um, you're very adaptable this person could be very adaptable as well somebody who just is able to adapt very easily to situations it also speaks to me about um, the lack of contact perhaps between the two of you you know, there is, you know, the camel is in the desert, it's dry, it's barren, and I feel like they're having to carry a flame for you, you know, in dark times when maybe there's not a lot of 
hope for them. It could be, but we'll see what the rest of the cards say. Who is this person who has you on their mind right this moment, who's thinking about you right this second? We have the Ace of Wands. So there's fiery passion with this person to begin this reading. The Ace of Wands is about, you know, inspired thought, passionate thought. And I feel like you bring about that passionate thinking in this person. Um, you really do inspire you inspire that you inspire that inspire that sexual energy and i just noticed that knight of wands on the back of the deck so we have the hanged man though someone is feeling a little bit stuck here with the hanged man energy um not being able to express themselves fully this person is submerged in water and you see there's the depths that you can't really see underneath um but it's like a a self-imposed restriction you know they could walk out of that water they could move out of there if they wanted to this person could put his head back down if he chose to um so they're feeling stuck right now they don't really know how to move forward towards you with this hanged man sometimes it can you know represent surrender to the universe surrendering to fate not knowing which way to go so just kind of letting fate take the lead here and here's some obstacles they're seeing more passion though lots of passion for you but acknowledging that there are a lot of obstacles in the way of this connection and that's something that they do get focused upon something that does cause them to pause before they approach you with these you know these amazing sexual offers that they want to um there's been just challenges things that they're worried about tripping over not being able to see the forest through the trees with this card truly um one of my favorite depictions of the seven of wands ever i love this this card just really shows you know they can't see a clear path to you right now but they do think about it and they do want to come forward with news for you some of you may hear from this person the page of pentacles is about change is about new opportunities pre presenting themselves embarking on new adventures um it can you know money might be an issue in this connection maybe this person doesn't feel like they have a lot um, financially to offer right now but i do feel like they could come forward with news and and you know maybe speak with you um but i don't feel like they're going to express this deep seated emotion or this crush that they have on you i don't think they're going to express that in the onset of the connection because i feel like they're holding back they're kind of not wearing their heart on their sleeve they're protecting themselves ten of wands because it's truly you know with this ace of wands the passion inside of them for you is really boiling up over the surface. The Ten of Wands is about, you know, the desire for closure. Tens are about finality and, and endings, the completion of things. Um, they are feeling burdened by this passion they have for you and not being able to express it. You know, and they it is something that they would like to kind of lighten up the load a little bit they would like to put some of that passion down i do notice though in this card if you look in the background you see those two skulls together like it's a passion that they've had for you for a long time they don't want they're very hesitant to put it down but it's exhausting they're getting tired <laughs> we have the two of swords in the reverse position They're, they're in a confused kind of state right now with that hanged man surrendering. They don't know which action to take yet towards you, this person. Because truly, they hold you on a really high pedestal. They can't see a way towards you, but when they think about you, it makes them so happy. You are like the sun in their life. You know, their world, you know, really revolves around you. Their thoughts revolve around you, I really feel especially right now they're thinking about you right this moment their thoughts are revolving around you i just lost one on the floor it was the ten of pentacles in the reverse position so i really feel like this person feels a lack within themselves um there could be family issues here that are holding them back they could be financially in state like unstable right now not really feeling like they have a lot to offer on the back of the deck we have the seven of swords um, this is interesting to me because it's sneaky. It's like they're, they're not letting other people know. This is a secret. They're not letting you know they feel this way. And if they're in another situation where maybe they're in a family situation, they're not letting other people know about their feelings. You know, the Seven of Swords is a dishonest type of card. 
but we will get a little bit of clarity here. Who has you on their mind right now? What are they thinking? This person is really focused on the conflict and the, the struggle and the competition that they're in for you. They have a lot of passion. They could be a fire sign, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, or have fire in their chart. They're thinking about you. They have so much passion for you, but they're really kind of in a negative mindset today, I think. I think they're... But they're not losing hope, and that's the good thing. This time apart, this time in indecision, they haven't lost all hope because, again, I feel like their thoughts revolve around you. You are the shining star, and they have a really deep desire to pour all their love into you and right now I feel like they feel they're wasting and pouring out all of their energy and love perhaps into somebody else outside of this connection they're kind of in a negative mindset right now when it com comes to this connection because they see a lot of obstacles in the way but their affinity for you doesn't here we have the seven of swords again someone's being sneaky and it's Again, it's a dishonesty. It's, it's not being honest with themselves. It's not being honest with you. It's truly causing a lot of upset in their life. They could be losing sleep, having nightmares. There's a lot of anxiety and depression associated with this Nine of Swords. And there is a call for balance. They really desire balance together. They want to... They want to it's like mixing together. They want to mix together the two of you. They want you guys to be together. It's, it's kind of a sad feeling with this person. You know, they are really struggling with their self-image and, and what they have to offer. With this 10 in the reverse, this 10 of pentacles, sometimes it can mean, you know, a family, a family being upset as well. Family conflicts. Maybe this person is stuck in a family-like situation um, and their desire to come, and that's what they're being sneaky about, their feelings for you, and they don't know how to come forward causing a lot of emotional turmoil in them. I'm going to get one more card for you guys. Are you going to hear from this person? Are they going to come forward to you? Is this person going to express their feelings? The Hermit. Uh, Virgo energy associated there. There's a loneliness here. I don't feel like your person is going to express themselves, um, at least in the immediate time frame that we're speaking of right now. We do have the Wheel of Fortune on the back of the deck. I feel like they're waiting for a turn of events, like they're waiting for something to happen in both of your lives to make it easier to approach you. They could be worried about competition um, for your affection. Um, again, they can't see a clear path towards you and it's causing them a lot of anxiety. Some of them may reach out to you in like the form of a text or an email, but I just feel like they're waiting around for the world to open things up for the two of you. Hmm? Children. Your love life is being affected by children. And with this 10 of of pentacles in the reverse position really speaks about family situations um perhaps children are an issue in this connection maybe you have children or they have children really stops them from acting but it doesn't stop them from thinking about you because again they have a deep attraction for you a lot of wants here a lot of fire here your attraction or you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully playfulness somebody that you really really flirt with perhaps this could be somebody that you've met at work maybe express your love is the last card that fell out go ahead and make that romantic gesture this person wants to approach you they have you know and i feel like they're trying to come up with an idea of how to do so but right now they're waiting around they're waiting around for a turn of events free yourself it's time to take back control of your life you know waiting around for other people's movements and connections sometimes does not serve us it's spirit's way of reminding us to take action in our own life when we feel compelled to and not waiting around for other people. Some messages, some love messages. What does this person want to say? Whoops. I dream of being reckless. Now this card always comes out when I feel like there is some sort of third party situation and your person just feels like coming in and risking it all to be with you because of the passion. They knew the first moment that they saw you now that will resonate with some of you 
and not with, with others. Just take what resonates, leave what does not. Something is holding me back. And I am coming forward with an offer for some of you. That's interesting. I didn't follow my heart. And no one knows I still think about you. <laughs> They're just pouring out. You're too good for me. There's a lack inside of themselves with that page and that Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. I'm in love with you. Didn't realize what we had. On the back of the deck we have, I miss your touch. Perhaps for some of you this was some sort of a fair situation, but that won't resonate with everyone either. So let's see what we get here. Just want to pick some that I cannot see the backs of. Let's see what we have for our cards today. We have, oh, the Six of Wands, more passion. And the Seven of Cups, interesting. So this person, you know, obviously is having a lot of sexual fantasies about you. And some of the fantasies they're having are, you know, just having that victory with you, having the abundance with you. Um, sometimes when I see the Six of Wands, I think of somebody who's kind of putting on airs of victory, somebody who's, you know, faking it till they make it sort of. So he may not, or he or she may not be, um, they may be appearing like everything's going great. And you guys, I'm having a hard time with my, um, equipment today. Um, so yeah, this, this person may be just faking it till they make it, you know, um, not being honest with themselves and kind of portraying someone who has it all going for them. You know, but that Seven of Cups does speak about those fantasies they're having, about you being one of those options that they have. So here for the charms, we have the double E's, the F, the G. We have the um, Chewbacca charm, which makes me think of somebody who um, maybe has a really narrowed interest, kind of nerdy. Um, they could really be into cosplay or League of Legends or something like that, Star Wars. We have the baby feet and the baby carriage. We did have the children being a factor and that 10 of pentacles in reverse really speaks about maybe a family situation being in turmoil right now. So kids could be a factor here. I also see this shell, which makes me think of the empress. So, you know, that represents motherhood, abundance, a lot of fertility. Um, you could be a mother who's what anyone watching this and also speaks about them holding you on that pedestal as well. Um, this ring says forever. I feel like this person's been pining for you for a while. They could be a water sign with these the starfish, or sorry, the seahorse and the whale. And we have this rune, balance. Seeking that balance, again, with the temperance card that I saw in the one back of one deck, just needing that balance, wanting to pour all of that energy into you, not losing faith because, again, they hold you in such a high regard and they have so much passion for you. They just are frustrated because they have nowhere to put it. Okay, group two, that is your reading. If that resonated with you, please leave me a comment in the comment section. This is who has you on their mind and what at this very moment and what are some of their secret thoughts. Um, if you are interested, please head over to Instagram this week and enter to win a chance for a free mini reading with me. Um, if you're on Instagram, please do so. Otherwise, I hope to see you guys here on another day at the Tarot Cottage. Bye, you guys. Hi everybody in group three, I hope you're doing well today. Uh, you guys were drawn to this purple flower and this frog spirit, and this is your reading on who has you on their mind right this moment, what are some of their thoughts? The frog spirit is typically associated with a female energy um, and it's, you know, it's a creature that's able to navigate the water and land quite easily. So it really speaks about your person or your ability to navigate the spiritual and the physical world very easily very well you could be a very spiritual person very you know a water sign perhaps <clears throat> have earth energy as well but it also brings good luck the frog spirit is a very lucky spirit so hopefully <laughs> this will end up being a good reading who is who has you on their mind right this moment who's thinking about you right at this second what are some of those thoughts that they're having been having a little bit of problem with my recording equipment today for this reading for some reason for some reason so bear with me today okay so we have the hermit and the two of cups 
Virgo energy represented here. Two of Cups, you know, water energy as well. Two of Cups speaks about soulmate relationships. So this person feels very deeply about you. They feel like this is someone that they feel like you are someone that they could really see themselves marrying or having that committed relationship. But the Hermit really shows me perhaps a little bit of loneliness in your person, um, sinking into themselves, kind of holding that torch for you, not letting other people know their feelings. The Hermit doesn't really express their emotions outwardly, but feeling a little bit of loneliness when it comes to you. So we have the Seven of Wands, acknowledging some struggles and conflicts um, in this connection, acknowledging that they have a lot of passion for you, but maybe not being able to see a clear path towards you right now, which is part of the reason why they've kind of um, sunk into themselves a little bit. They can't see a clear path towards you right now. There may be a lot of obstacles getting in the way of this connection. They could be stuck in isolation and not being able to um, approach you. Who has you on their mind right this moment? We have the Emperor. That was interesting because it was on the back of the deck a few seconds ago and I kind of ignored him. But Tarot says what it wants to say. The Emperor really speaks about this person's view of themselves. You know, they could be a stern type of energy, maybe kind of a father figure, someone who really likes to take charge someone serious um not very emotional you know someone who really likes discipline really likes structure likes to see a clear path towards you but that's not happening so that's frustrating this person they're not overly emotional and they don't express their emotions easily the emperor who has you on their mind right this moment Who has you on their mind right this moment? Ten of Wands. It's a real, you know, these cards, it's interesting. These two cards came out in the other pile, so you might want to check out, I think it was pile two. Um, both of these cards came out. It's interesting. Um, really speaks again to all of that passion they have kind of building up inside of them underneath this Hermit card. And it's becoming almost a burden, something that they really want to have some closure to the tens are about closure about finality you know your person is spending time in their thoughts thinking about you thinking about all of that passion that they want to express with you but not really feeling like they have anywhere to put it it's becoming a burden for them it's becoming heavy it feels like a heavy responsibility to them <laughs> Because they're not adept at expressing themselves in that way, I don't think. Who is thinking about you right now? Who has you on their mind right this moment? Four of Swords. It's like the Hermit energy. This is interesting. So they're trying to really clear their mind when it comes to this connection. I feel like not only are you on their mind, but they're struggling with the idea that they may be in love with you with this two of cups and the four of swords is really their instinct to kind of meditate into that to clear the air to to slice through any mistruths in their mind with this four of swords they're retreating to reflect upon their feelings for you because it's it does feel heavy and it does feel like a burden and they're they're maybe a little bit confused by their emotion i feel like they think they're in love with you Who has you on their mind right now? The Three of Pentacles. The desire to really build a foundation um, with you re is represented by this Three of Pentacles. This person's desire to work on themselves. The Seven of Wands here speaks about conflict and obstacles in the way. And then with this Three of Pentacles explaining it, sometimes I think of a third party. There could be a third party in here that is um, keeping this connection from being able to fully come to fruition or being able to express itself but we'll see what the rest of the cards say who has you on their mind right now judgment the desire for a new beginning with the judgment card they could have a fear of being judged by you as well but the judgment card just speaks to me about 
you know, their desire for a new beginning, a rebirth or, or like a transformation in this connection. Sometimes when I see the judgment card, I think of a marriage situation. And with this three of pentacles here, this person could be, um, they could be, you could also, it could be both of your, either one of your energies, you could be involved in a relationship. On the back of the deck, we have the seven of swords, which speaks of on dishonesty and having to sneak around with your feelings. Again, your person doesn't feel like they can be 100% honest. They're not wearing their, they're not wearing their, um, emotions on their sleeve they're being very dishonest let me get some clarity cards for you who is this person who has you on their mind the knight of swords seeks truth he seeks to rush into a situation this person sometimes wants to just rush in end this period of loneliness end the this this built up sexual frustration that they have and rush in to just clear the air, explain themselves, but they don't have a lot of forethought for afterwards when they get there. You know, the Knight of Swords is very impetuous. They just kind of charge in. Page of Wands. Expressing that, you know, having to come up with a new inspired idea, a new inspired passionate thought about you. Um, the page comes up with new ideas. I feel like your person's as they're spending that time kind of reflecting, they're trying to come up with, they're trying to figure out if these feelings are real, number one, but they're also trying to come up with a creative idea to approach you. How do they bring forth that passion, this idea to you? They feel kind of like a child pursuing a huge goal right now. They don't have the confidence of the king right yet. Five of Cups, so this is interesting. We have the Seven of Wands, struggles, struggles, obstacles, the Three of Pentacles can represent a third party, and we have this Five of Cups. Five of Cups in the traditional Rider weight, you notice that character has the, you know, two cups that have fallen over, but they have the three cup or three cups fallen over and the two in the background that have not. Um, this person's really focused on the past. Perhaps you guys have had a relationship in the past. They're really focused on everything that they've lost instead of what they have going for them right now. Um, so I feel like they're, if they're in another relationship, if they've started building that foundation with someone else, they're really focused on the pain of the past with you as opposed to what they've actually built for themselves right now in this life. It's a, it's a real sadness type of energy. Who has you on their mind right this moment? What are they thinking? Ace of Pentacles. Somebody might approach you with some news or an email or a text message with the Ace of Pentacles. It's a new opportunity or news coming in. On the back of the deck, we have the Judgment card again. You know, this really sort of speaks to me about, you know, perhaps a, a, a marriage or a relationship that is already in progress um, and the fear of the the fear of the backlash from that. That won't resonate with everyone. Just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from the usual type and expectations. I feel like for some of you, that card, it's like your person's desire for that. Like I, they want you to keep an open mind. If they are in a, another relationship, maybe they would hope to start up something with you, but romantic feelings, your feelings are real and worth exploring. That's what they're doing right now. It's interesting this card came out with this Four of Swords. They're really exploring these deep-seated feelings, this passion they have for you. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart and give and receive the highest energy of all. Whoops. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. As I said, I, you know, could be cultural factors, religious factors, could be a marriage. Healing family issues is on the back of the deck. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. But it really does, again, speak to um, the need for some of these family issues to be healed. Or maybe if, if they are building that foundation with someone else for that to be resolved before anything can happen in this connection.
thought of you as someone else drives me crazy. So perhaps you have moved on. No one knows that I still think about you. And I don't know how much longer I can do this. Wow, they're in a lot of... As I said, I feel like they're kind of stuck in there. I don't know how to let you go. But I'm afraid that you don't miss me. I want to kiss you. But I am learning to live without you. You know, they think about charging in, but they truly are in hermit mode right now. They truly are um, sinking into themselves and just meditating on this. They're stuck. The distance between us is killing me. And this one's, I'm in love with you and no one knows. That's come up twice today. It's interesting. This one fell out as well. I don't know how to tell you the truth. And on the back of the deck, love is patient. Well, I feel like pulling three for you guys, so I will pull three. Those are a lot of charms. A lot of little ones today. Okay, so we'll start with your cards here. Oh, we have the beautiful Nine of Pentacles. Really speaks about, you know, their view of you and how they feel. You know, you are abundant. You're sure of yourself. You're confident. You're beautiful. They're very attracted to you. Uh, we have this Eight of Pentacles, and we also have the Ace of Swords as well. The Eight of Pentacles can really represent to me, you know, the amount of years perhaps that this person has been pining away for you. Um, they could be working on themselves, but they could just have spent a really long time thinking about you in this connection and it's really it's gave them a lot of clarity you know their thoughts of you gives them give them a lot of clarity about where they truly wish they could be Let me just try to get those propped up so you guys can see them we do have the letter l and this little spacer i guess could be an i we have the saint anthony medal um, St. Anthony of Padua, it is, he is the patron saint of lost things. So this person may have felt like they have lost you. Uh, we have the engagement ring. Somebody could be married in this situation. We have two, um, these are commandments from the Bible. So let me see what they say. I am the Lord thy God. We had the religious factors over here. And remember the Sabbath day. So, that, you know, you could be cultural, uh, cultural or religious um, components could be affecting this this relationship and it also speaks to me when I see those charms you know about that pedestal that they hold you on we have roses here as well we have a bunch of feathers could be a soulmate relationship looking at things from a higher perspective though is really being called to we do have three feathers here which is kind of interesting because we had that three of pentacles we're speaking about perhaps a third party situation um, it's really spirits way of telling you to, to look at that situation from a higher perspective. Um, water sign is represented by these little fish. We have a carrot here. You are the golden carrot for this person. We have a key, a little bunch of grapes. We have a couple of stars. Again, your person has not given up hope or faith in this connection. You truly do represent like a wish come true or a dream come true for this person. We spoke about, you know, <clears throat> someone building a foundation with other people we do have baby feet here in the spoon which makes me think of babies we have the i love my cat charm that could be significant as well we have the cherries here when i see that i do think of somebody who maybe you this was your first time for some of you maybe this was the person that you lost your virginity to um and we have this uh love and it's like i see this and i think of someone building a foundation it could be your person's desire to build that foundation of love for, with you it could also be their you know, the fact that someone is building a foundation with someone else here. It's causing a lot of jealous sort of feelings in your person. Okay, I think that, oh, we have this paper clip. You could have met this person in school or at work as well. Okay, group three, that is your reading. This is who has you on their mind right this moment. These are some of their secret thoughts. If you are resonating with this message, please leave me a comment in the comment section. If you feel called to head over to Instagram and enter for your chance to win a free mini reading with me, um, that will be posted this, it is posted now. It's going to be posted until Sunday night. 
Um, otherwise, I just hope to see you guys here on another day at the Tarot Cottage. Please subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the videos I post this week. Okay, bye guys.